It was another action-packed week in DBU athletics as baseball hosted a three-game series versus Bradley, while the track and field team competed in a pair of meets in both Houston and California. This week's Patriot Insider begins, though, with a look at the top-ranked women's golf team and their quest for their third consecutive conference title at last week's Heartland Conference Championships. Facing a field of eight teams from the Heartland Conference at Slick Rock Golf Course in Horseshoe Bay, Texas, the Lady Patriots posted a three-round total of 10 over par at 874 to cruise to a first-place finish, winning by 21 strokes over second-place Oklahoma Christian. I thought we played well for the last uh, few days for sure. It's always hard to win championships, so excited about that. Uh, today I thought that uh, Ren stepped up huge, shooting 71 on this golf course in this win. And uh, obviously Annie just killed it all week long to win her third out of four years win an individual title and um, us to win three in a row uh, to end their conference career was fun. So excited about the next couple of weeks to get after it and get ready for regionals. And uh, just, we, you know, we got to make a couple of uh, adjustments on some people, but other than that, I'm excited about the way we're playing. Senior Ann Parmeter led the way for DBU, winning the third individual conference title of her illustrious career. Parmeter torched the field on day one with a score of four under par, 68 and went on to finish the tournament at four under and outlasted Oklahoma Christian Shaylee Goad by two strokes. This individual win, this team win, I mean, it was, it's amazing. Being a senior and all, we've won, I believe, three years in a row team-wise, and then I've won three years out of the four years individual-wise for me. So it means a lot just for my college career. It means a lot as a team. We've really got some momentum going moving forward, and just excited to see where it takes us next. Along with Parmeter's first place showing, three Lady Patriots finished in the top ten, including Evelyn Arguelles, Bryn Ferris, and Addison Mitchell. DBU now sets their sights on a regional championship as they travel to Amarillo, Texas on May 6th. On the men's side, DBU shot a team score of 15 over par to play seventh overall in the Heartland Conference Championships. Tate Fleming led the Patriots, carting an even par over three rounds to place him in a tie for 14th. In baseball, the Patriots bounced back from a pair of losses early in the week to win a doubleheader on Saturday over the Bradley Braves. In Game 1 of the Twin Bill, the Patriot offense erupted to score 14 runs en route to a 14-3 win and setting up a rubber match versus Bradley. In the nightcap, DBU overcame a one-run deficit in the eighth inning to score a pair of runs, highlighted by Jimmy Glowinky's base hit to left that gave the Patriots a 7-6 advantage. Leading by a run in the ninth, the Braves put the tying run on third before McGregor Hines struck out the final two batters to end the game and gave DBU the series. The Patriots now find themselves in second place in the Missouri Valley Conference standings and face Illinois State this weekend at Horner Ballpark in a matchup between the top two teams in the league. From baseball to track and field, where DBU competed in a pair of meets over the weekend. In Houston, the Patriots' Thomas Tannehill placed seventh in the 400-meter hurdles, while Valerie Parker crossed the finish line in third place in the women's 400-meter hurdles. Demi Olivier also posted a top-10 finish in the hurdles, placing fourth in the 100-meter event. The Patriots capped off the day with their men's 4x400-meter relay team posting a time of 3.15.57 to pick up a fourth-place finish, while the women's squad placed fifth with a time of 3.52.21. At the Brian Clay Invitational in Azusa, California, Leah Lewis placed seventh in the 10,000-meter race, while Stetson Rias finished 29th in the 10K, and Noah Metzger crossed the finish line in 19th in the 5,000 meters. That's all for this week's Patriot Insider. To keep up with all the latest news surrounding the DBU Athletics program, you can follow the Patriots online at dbupatriots.com and through social media on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. You can also download the new DBU Athletics app to your mobile device. Until this time again next week, for Patriot Insider, I'm Reagan Radcliffe.